The Ukrainian Defense Forces are conducting advanced maneuvers on the northern flank of the Kursk direction. An important Russian logistics hub in this area, the village of Korenevo, is being encircled. Journalist and military observer Michael Naki spoke about this. He published a map of military operations in the Kursk region. According to it, the Ukrainian armed forces are encircling Korenevo from the east and south. The settlement is cut off from the west by the Seam River. In fact, there is now a narrow corridor of about five kilometers in the north through which the Russian armed forces group may try to exit. Otherwise, it faces a cauldron. The Russian army also has big problems with the Glushkovo village on the same northern flank. On August the 16th, the Ukrainian armed forces destroyed a bridge over the Seam River in the village of Glushkovo. Another bridge was also damaged a little higher up near the village of Zovanoi. Today, the Russian armed forces have only one intact functioning bridge left through which they can supply their group on the left bank of the Simas. If it is destroyed, significant forces of the Russian army may find themselves in a trap. In the near future, this zone may become part of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Control Zone in the Kursk region, Naki said. So, following the military strategy of striking with their best weapon at the enemy's weakest point in the eastern and northwestern directions, Ukrainian forces are focused on encircling the settlement of Korenevo. The 103rd Territorial Defense Brigade is advancing from the south, particularly in the Snagost area, aiming to secure a connection via the highway. Simultaneously, the 82nd Airborne Brigade is making frontal and northern advances towards Korenevo. Coordinated sabotage and reconnaissance units are also actively operating behind Korenevo's line. Recent Russian reports confirm Ukrainian advances in Snagost, while Ukrainian military analyst Kostyantin Mashovets noted progress up to the settlement. While military analysts generally dismiss the idea that the plant is a direct objective for Ukrainian forces holding positions within long-range artillery range could still pose a significant threat. This strategic positioning could be a valuable leverage point in negotiations even without capturing the facility. Hurricane Ernesto is moving north through the Atlantic and made landfall on the small island of Bermuda. The Ernesto brought Bermuda strong winds, dangerous storm surge and life-threatening flooding, the National Hurricane Center said. The cyclone, which hit Puerto Rico earlier this week leaving at least 600,000 people without power. A dangerous storm surge is expected to produce significant coastal flooding on Bermuda in areas of onshore winds. Near the coast, the surge will be accompanied by large and destructive waves, the National Hurricane Center warned. Ernesto dumped 15 to 22.5 centimeters of rain on Bermuda. This rainfall will likely result in considerable life-threatening flash flooding, especially in low-lying areas on the island, the National Hurricane Center said. The storm had left nearly 26,000 customers without electricity, Bermuda's power firm Belco reported, or more than 70% of its customers on the island with a population of 64,000. This storm is the real deal, Minister of National Security Michael Weeks said after a meeting of emergency officials, according to the Royal Gazette newspaper. This is not a storm to be taken lightly, he said, warning islanders to expect 36 hours of hurricane force winds.